Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a back to school haul and I started school at the end of January. Um, the I've been doing some shopping since then and I noticed that I haven't been using the things I bought so I wanted to do the haul. I figured I would be able to take everything out of the bag. I just threw everything in and you know start using it. So the first store I went to was Target. I Back home, I live right across the street from a Target, so I think it's really easy. Like, that's like the first store I usually go to. So the first thing was, I ran out of um, hair ties, so I got these, super colorful. I got some of the basics. So post-it notes, not post-it notes, um, index cards. I think these are really good when you're trying to memorize things. And these, po this, these are post-it notes, and they're from the post-it brand, but it comes with a highlighter and it has like little tabs that you use to mark your readings. So I thought that was really cute. I was able to find some blue post-it notes. I kind of wish they had them in pink, but this will do. I thought these were so cute. And then I thought these were post-it notes as well, but they're actually for your bulletin board and I don't have one, but I'm going to figure it out and like make use of these. Maybe I'll put post-its on them in the middle and then use them as flashcards. I think that would be cute. And in the dollar section, um, in, in these I got a while back, like way back. There was a whole Dr. Seuss brand. And these are erasers and they're so cute. They have like green eggs and ham, the cat in the hat, and they're like really, really cute. And the last set of post notes I got were these crayon ones, they're color pencils. And basically they have them um, color coordinated and a half inch binder i in high school they used to make us carry these like two or three inch binders and it was horrible i hated it um and i would never do that i like i would just let up with the teacher <laughs> and say i didn't have one <laughs> okay so i went on etsy and i found a, uh, an etsy store i think it's called black heart creations and i'll link um her store down below but basically she makes clips with different princesses so i what i did is i got my best friend um and i matching beast and bell uh pins and these are so so cute um the beast is my favorite though i don't know i think they're made out of like wood and then she like puts paper on them and a really sturdy clip so they're really nice and let me open this one. And then for my sister and I, I got the Frozen Princesses. So I got Anna and Elsa. I always tell my sister that, you know, I'm Elsa because I'm like kind of blonde and she's Anna because she's more of a brunette. And what I did is I gave her Elsa so she always thinks of me. And then I kept Anna and she is so, so pretty. And this is the bag, which just looks like a figure. Then I went to Staples. So there's a Staples downtown. Um, from where I live so I got this like heel staple stapler and let me take it out it is so cute it is like such a diva thing to have it can sit on your desk and it just looks so cute and at Staples I also got the, these cupcake um, post-it notes which I thought were adorable I'm like really used cupcakes recently I've been buying a lot of like cupcake themed accessories <laughs> so where i bought a lot of things was actually at um uh office depot my sister and i went and this was like a while bag and i just threw it in a bag and never used it i got like three packs of these pencils I already opened some and put them out um i got this flower it is so cute it's a little daisy and it's just a little pen that is it's like the ones they give you at the bank. I think those are called ballpoint, right? And those are like, the, I feel like the most comfortable pens to use. They like just glide on the paper very easily. I got this lollipop. Oh, I just broke it. Oh no. Is it fixable? Let's just open it. I can't believe I just broke it. Yep, yeah, it's fixable. It's a lollipop eraser super cute super cute a pink sharpie because i have the colors except uh this one and then the gold and bronze one something i loved at home deep not home depot office depot was there's this brand called divorce divoga divoga and 
So they have this pencil case. It's mint with um, gold accents. And they give you the case and then there's eight pencils inside, which I thought was adorable. From the same brand, I also got um, this little binder, which I loved it because it had, you know, the white background with the gold dots. And then the inside is all gold. And there's little flaps. So there's like little uh, sheet protectors for it because you know it is smaller. Let me compare just so you can see. It's a lot smaller than a regular binder, but it's so pretty. So I had to buy it. I think I bought it more because it was cute than like for how functional it would really be, but it is what it is. And then I also got mini dividers. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just go back and buy the binder paper and you know just keep my notes in the in like that paper so I can stick it in there because if not I really don't know how I would use it because I think it would be a hassle to cut binder paper to fit that size but anyways I got this I thought I, I thought I would be taking a Spanish um, class this semester and I ended up dropping it because I have a unit cap but um, and I can talk about that in another video but um, the reason I would I picked the map was because I want to study abroad in Spain it kind of goes with my major and I've, you know I've always wanted to go to Europe but I ended up dropping it so now I don't know what class I want to use this one for it's super cute though so we'll see I'm taking two Latino studies classes so maybe the one that's more like um, concentrated on like different states I'm not sure yet we'll see I think I have more binders and notebooks than what I need. I actually only have three major classes. But then um, I got these dividers. And then I got something that matches, which is so cute. So it's this, and it's it's the same brand as the pen, Divoga. Oh, I hope I'm not like butchering that name. But anyway, super glittery. And then I got this little thing to match. And this is great because we're about to start midterm season. And I feel like the index cards are kind of basic so then I can use this and just kind of you know write my vocabulary <laughs> but anyways um it'd be super cute and you know glamorous like me the last thing I got at Office Depot was I got there's this brand called C Jane Walk or C Jane Work hmm Anyways, um, they have really cute things, and I went and got file folders. It's C. Jane work, and it basically it has six. So it has two with white and gold, two plain black, and then two with the black uh, background but gold dots. And I thought this was really cute. I like. I wonder if just everyone's in the white and gold thing because I know Kate Spade is doing that too. But um, and this is actually wider than this. But, you know, they match. So I thought that was adorable. And then after that, I went to the student store. And I didn't get much at the student store. I just got the sh Sharpie pens. And I kind of lost them already. I have one right here. I don't know where the rest went. And I just got a school notebook, which, you know, says Berkeley and has the school's emblem. I'm saying this wrong. But I thought it was really cute. I'm taking astronomy. And I wanted something with stars. But, like, I mean, it is what it is. Like black sky or purple or blue it's like different colors i also online like um went on kate spade and i got this which is called the long list and they're also it's like a, no a large notepad but um i think i overdid it with the post-it notes but i think i'll use them a lot so hopefully that ends up working out and then i went to marshall's and at Marshall's, I found the cutest thing ever. If you know me, like I'm really into playing cards. And I got this. They say that they're by the brand Fred. And so basically, they're red playing cards. I just think it's the most perfect thing ever. Let's see. I got these two pens that look like pencils, but they're actually pens. And I bought them at a clothing store that was closing down. Oh, so I went on the law school tour. Uh, I think it was in the summer. I don't remember. But anyways, um, I was already like back to school shopping <laughs> in the beginning of the summer when we went on this trip. But, and I haven't used this in, I, since. I just threw it away 
in a bag with all my back to school things. So it's a Harvard Law School uh, pencil pouch and it just, you know, they're burgundy, they're like school color and then just clean white letters. And I thought it was so pretty. And I think I'm gonna use it as motivation, you know? Ow, I just got lipstick all over it. <laughs> um, use it as motivation and just, you know, like, have it push me through because this summer I'll be sitting for the LSAT and then it's just gonna be so stressful like this upcoming semester that'll be my last semester and let's see I got this backpack I got a mini backpack from my mom I don't call my mom mom fun fact so it is so pretty just look at this the print is gorgeous it is so cute and what I love about it is it's, it's the fabric. It's like the typical, you know, fabric. Um, and uh, I love it. She bought it at the Spulga where she works. The one by Salinas. It's called the Red Barn. And, you know, I had been eyeing this backpack. And it wasn't even that expensive. But I just, I think I just didn't want to buy it. I wanted it to be a gift. So I kept on telling her. And then one day um before i came back for school like that last weekend i was there she bought it and i love how it has so much pink and it just pops so much the only thing i am worried about is that when i wash it it'll the colors will run that i do worry about one of the more expensive things i bought for back to school uh, for the start of the semester was an agenda i bought an erin condren agenda and i bought the pure bar edition so i think it's so pretty and even though it is expensive, I justify it because I do use an agenda every day. So I feel like if you think about it, I do use it every day. So you, like you know, you could kind of divide that. I don't know. I tell I tell myself that to like make me feel better. But anyways, this is for this week, and I got it where the time comes on the side. So it's just little slots, like they're 30 minute slots. And it starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 7 p.m. So I thought it was really cute. The last two things I bought today and I went to Francesca's. Um, it's this store that sells jewelry and clothing and like a, a bunch of really cute accessories. So I was looking for highlighters and I bought these sparkle watercolor gel crayons. And the, the like the girls working there were like oh like it should work like highlighters we'll see and I think she felt bad for me because then she gave me a highlighter for free that was in the in the cash register um she said in case they don't work because I don't think I can return them once I open them but we'll see and the last thing I bought um just because I'm not living at home and like sometimes I work really late is I bought a bling sting pepper spray so it's very pretty, it's pink, and I don't know if it's focusing, yes it is. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the box. Um, I've never had to use a uh, pepper spray, but oh, this one is so pretty. It is so pretty. There we go. Okay, I do test them, like every once in a while, I'll, like spray out into the grass or something. Just to make sure it works. I feel like it would be me to be in a situation where I have to use it and then it doesn't work. But anyways, that is it for my back to school haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you have any special requests for school. I'm a senior in college, so I don't know if that like helps with the time frame. Any questions, I am thinking of doing like how to get into college videos. Now that I'm about to leave, I'm grad I'm walking the stage in May. So that's exciting. And see you soon. Thank you.